Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like he came up empty. Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Archangel? Shepard. I thought you were dead. What are you doing here? Good to see you too. I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? They did what they could, but you're gonna have some scars. I'm sorry. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you, and if we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. And damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not... Sh Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I don't want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness day. In which case, fighting the collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. So when should I book the room? I'd wait if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. Wait, that metaphor just went somewhere horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right. 
because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam, but I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh, research and figure out how to, you know... Okay, that sounded bad. Hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe, so your, um, hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully that's not offensive in human culture. Crap. I knew I should have watched the vids. Throw me a line here, Shepard. Calm down, Garrus. You're worrying too much. And talking too much. I, I just... I, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC. What happened with Sidonis. I want something to go right. Just once. Just... I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. You're alive. I'm hard to kill. You should know that. Yeah, so... Is this the part where we... shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions, or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't want to presume anything. Relax. You presumed correctly. Good to hear. I mean, <clears throat> I was hoping... <laughs> I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic... Um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross-species liaison. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time... I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Deal. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a Turian next to me. Still trying to make me blush, huh? Until it works. So what's your one thing? I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain... mood. Something on your mind? It seemed like you needed time to... figure us out. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. I felt the same way. The worst part about the galaxy going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Well, here I am. Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Karis Vicarian. Wow. 
the vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is... I don't know exactly what to do. <laughs> you grab the girl and kiss her like you mean it. That I can do. And rather well. Right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. All the girls fall for that. Let me show you. What, what are you doing? It'll be fun. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Been taking lessons on the side. You're gonna pay for this later. Promises, promises. So, tell me, think a girl would fall for that? Just as long as it's the one standing in front of you. You know it. And it gets even better when you try it in bed. Shepard. Thought you might be up here. Do you know what the best part is about a battle that decides the whole fate of the galaxy? Winning it? I was thinking it's a good excuse to remind the ones you care about that. Yeah, well, you care about them. Want some company? <laughs> you read my mind. Hmm, guess I'm getting pretty good at this. But some more practice wouldn't hurt. dream you ever get them mm. I intend to expect the worst anyway so dreaming about it is just a waste of good sleep what about now I'm expecting a tough fight what's bothering you can we ever be ready for a battle like this everything we've ever known hanging by a thread, Garrus. Yeah, but the truth is, when hasn't it? Every fight we've ever seen could have been our last. Every bullet we've ever dodged could have been the one. <laughs> there have been a lot of bullets. And this time around, they're just a little bigger. <sighs> I don't know what I'd do without you. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just 
just like old times. Huh. Uh, hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. Do you think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. Maybe even find out what a Turian human baby looks like. I doubt biology's gonna cooperate. And even if it did, I'm not sure we're cut out to be parents. You worry Daddy's rifle collection might scare Junior? No. More worried he might love it. I think two train killers are enough for one family. But there's no guarantee we're getting out of this alive. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but... This thing goes sideways, and we both end up there. Meet me at the bar. I'm buying. Shepard and Vicarian storming heaven. I guess there are worse ways this could end. But maybe some other day. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but your boyfriend has an order for you. Come back alive. It'd be an awfully empty galaxy without you. Deal. Here, take him. Shepard. You gotta get out of here. And you gotta be kidding me. Don't argue, Garrus. We're in this to the end. No matter what happens here, you know I love you. I always will. Shepard, I... love you too. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. <laughs>